Welcome back, everybody, to the next episode, episode 16 of my Roller Coaster Tycoon Park Project, where we are building our brand new Disney Resort kind of thing, uh, set in kind of central U.S., uh, right around St. Louis, kind of in the Missouri area is what I was thinking here with this kind of in the, the, like in the Ozarks. Uh, that's the idea behind it anyway. Um, so there's been a little bit of footage lost, and I, I apologize about that. As I was working on the park, um, I've also been working on the computer, so therefore I've, I've lost some files, some things didn't get carried over. So some of the footage was lost, which is why you don't see a build of Casey's Corner right there that you saw at the beginning of the video, and I do apologize about that. So, But we're going to just have to, you know, basically rock on from there and, and carry forth and so on and so on. So what I'm doing here is I'm still in the State Fair area of our Disney Park. Uh, this is kind of my ode to Disney California and the, and the boardwalk, but also staying kind of within some of the guidelines that Disney originally had for Disney America, which was uh, one they was going to build in Virginia. Uh, they had an idea for a State Fair area, which I've kind of used that idea and made it my own and, and kind of took some ideas from the boardwalk area in California, uh, California Adventure Park, and you know just kind of went from there. So I've got my own coaster here, a big wooden coaster, which we're building the entrance to right here, sort of. Um, I couldn't, I had a hard time trying to figure out what I was going to do with this actual entrance for this, but I think by the end we we kind of got something that kind of worked. So um, then you kind of got this like, kind of Main Street area down here, which comes from Liberty Square down into this area, and. The idea of what I'm kind of building here is just like a boardwalk, or not boardwalk, but midway type games. You know, things if like if you were going to a county fair, you would have midway games. And that was kind of the idea, the kind of the purpose that I was doing these little buildings down through here for. Um, just kind of getting everything kind of set up for that. And I, I think, you know, basically they came out fairly well. Um, I'm not proud of the fact that I, I have just a whole straight kind of area down through here and by the time I got done with it, some of the area just wasn't finished, it didn't seem like, but, you know, there were some things I wanted to add to it that I just did not have the room to add because of some other things that I wanted to do, and I just kind of had to go with the flow and, and work with that, and yeah, that's kind of what happened with this. So what we're doing is just these little midway game things here, which uh, we're going to have right in the middle of it. Uh, we're going to have a few on each side of the, or on the other side of the street over there from the coaster as well. But for now, we're just doing kind of down through the middle, down through there. Um, I still don't have a name for this coaster yet. So if anybody has any ideas for that, make sure to put those in the comments. I'm kind of thinking about maybe like uh, Disney Comet or something like that. But I mean, they're not great ideas really that I've come up with yet. Um, yeah, and, and the coaster itself does need to be kind of custom supported as well. You can tell that from just some of the video that you're seeing right now. It, it needs the custom supports. I'm just, I don't want to do them. I, I really don't. Um, it's something I've tried to do before, and it didn't really come out very well. And I know there are other people out there who are very, very, very good at it. And I'm going to kind of look at some of their stuff and kind of go from there and try to figure out how to get this thing custom supported. I think, I, you know, basically I'm determined, so, you know, when I get determined to do something, I end up doing it, and I think it's going to come out well, but until I actually start it, I just won't know. Um, we got our Mickey wheel that's going to be at the end back there. I don't think in this video I've done the actual star and the Mickey face that's going to go in the middle of it yet, but it does get that. Uh, you will see that eventually. We got our Toy Story Midway Mania down there at the end, which is kind of a complete ripoff of the California Adventure one. And that's okay though. Uh, it fits this perfect. It, it does. It really fits this area perfect because this is a county fair. We got our Midway Games right down the middle, and you got Toy Story Midway Mania. A lot of people I noticed when I was building the park on Twitch. A lot of people wanted me to name the coaster after, like, you know, Toy Story or something like that. And that, that wasn't the theme I was going for. I mean, yeah, we got a Toy Story attraction right underneath of the coaster, but it's not the theme of the area. The theme of the area is just county fair. So I, I wanted this big, large e-ticket attraction, and I wanted to, 
you know, I could have went with the same way that California Adventure did. We could have built a steel coaster and made it look like it was wood, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go old school. I wanted to do the like an actual giant wooden coaster, but you know, not too big because you know Disney is family friendly. So that's what we want to kind of do, and that was the idea behind it. So no, it's not huge, but it's like a typical wooden coaster that you would find in most parks today. And I, I really was happy with the way it turned out. Uh, I used, didn't use a custom wooden track or anything like that. I actually, uh, what is the Wodan track, I think is what they use. Um, that wasn't going to work for me. It just wasn't giving me the right angles and stuff. I just decided to use the in-game wooden coaster. And, you know, like I said, with the custom sports, it's going to come out really well, I think. Now, you will notice that I am rambling on quite a bit. I wanted to shorten this video up to like 10 minutes, but when I tried that, well, you couldn't tell anything that was going on. It was sped up so fast, because this is like six hours of footage, and it was completely sped up so fast that there was no way I was going to be able to get, you know, 10 minutes of footage out of this, and, got, and you know, you guys wouldn't even be tell what I was doing. It was moving so fast. So, we're going to go for like 16 minutes, which means i got to talk for 16 minutes. Um, something you can't really see it too well because it does kind of fly by, but uh, Casey's Corner was something that was missed. And again, I do apologize about that. I really did mean to get the footage of that, and apparently it's it's gone. I, I've looked all over all my hard drives for that footage. I cannot find it anywhere. Um, it All the construction work on Casey's Corner is completely gone. So I will include a picture of it, though, just that way, you know, you guys, anybody who has been kind of watching me on Shy Guys World, you should have already seen Casey's Corner. It turned out fantastic. Seriously. Like, really, really fantastic. The only thing I have left to do is to put a little Casey's Corner signage on it, and we are good to go. Um, now, back to the station here, which is what I was kind of playing around with. I, I honestly had no idea what I was going to do with this station. I kind of wanted it to be kind of an old school kind of, you know, station that you would see on like old roller coasters and stuff like that but it just wasn't coming out that way it almost came out in more of a boardwalk type coaster station and wasn't really what i was going for but in the end it it looked really nice so that was what we went with um it, what you're seeing right now it does change from this but i mean this is the general idea i think i may go back and change this one more time because i really wanted to kind of do something more like the racer um, I think the racer at Kings Island has one of the most amazing entrances that I've ever seen on a coaster. And I really kind of want to do something more like that. So I think we're going to go back and rebuild this station right here and do something more like that. We're going to keep parts of what I've already done, but kind of change it around a little bit. I haven't done it yet. Um, still kind of thinking it out on how I'm going to do it. But yeah, for what we do end up doing with this, I think it turns out excellent. And, yeah, it's kind of starting to take shape now. You can kind of see. I decided to do kind of a hexagon, kind of t uh, slanted, I don't know, angled kind of semi-circle part to it that you would walk through to get into the station. I thought that kind of would look kind of cool. Um, it It's fairly plain currently because, you know, again, I haven't done any signage in the park at all. All I'm doing when I'm building this park is just putting in everything that I need to do. All the signage will come later, right before opening day, and, you know, that's kind of how I am building, basically. Uh, something else people have been asking me quite a bit is, are I, you know, am I going to do interiors and uh, things like that? No. No interiors. I may go back later on, do some interiors, but I don't think the park file is going to be able to handle that, and then my computer's not going to be able to handle that. You know, I've put so much into this. And you guys will see this in some of the upcoming videos, how much work has gone into this. It's been months and months and months of work. I, I don't even know when I started on this at this point, but it's been a while. And, you know, things are, are starting to come together. And, you know, I don't want to give away too much because we still got a lot of footage to kind of go through, but we are catching up, which is kind of cool. All right, so, yeah, I've still got to waste some time here. So, yeah. Um... Uh, Let's talk about, I don't know, uh, let's, let's talk about this particular area, I suppose. So in this area, um, you know, basically when I started building it, I had a general idea of what I was going to do. Just kind of a thought. I knew kind of a few things I wanted to do down through here, and that was kind of what we started working with. But 
it didn't really turn out that way, but you know, like I had a, a, a basic plan, but I didn't have a very, very detailed plan. So I, once I started building this area, it was pretty much, you know, work as I go and go from there. Uh, a lot of stuff just kind of happened. Um, you know, as Bob Ross would kind of say, happy accidents, and they ended up really, really nice, which I was very proud of. This coaster, I am extremely proud of. The Toy Story Mania, I'm extremely proud of. Um, I did have to do some custom scenery, like these, you know, basically the roofs that you see on there are all custom. I did like two different ones there, which turned out great. And we're going to do a few more things down in this area as well, but yeah. Um, that's the main thing that was custom scenery there. Uh, foliage. Foliage is so not my thing. I am so bad at foliage. Uh, but I thought this part right here turned out excellent. Once I got done with it, 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 it was really nice. We're going to do some rocks kind of behind that area. And, you know, we're going to have a... Uh, you can see the river back behind the, st the coaster here. The coaster river... Or ha, the river behind the coaster is going to have our Mark Twain riverboat kind of going up through it and the entrance to that is going to be behind Liberty Square so you'll be able to see that as kind of kind of a little picnic area off to the side here which you, yeah we'll be able to see Mark Twain and everything and we're gonna do some rock work and you'll the train will also run around the back of this area as well um, you know and this was the part where I decided you know what I really had this idea where I wanted to put lights and stuff on it and that was what we started doing here and uh, I started doing the lights wrong because I started putting them on the bottom of the track and I thought that looked really cool but some of the guys in Twitch were like no 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 you need to put it on the railings that's where it's got to go so I had to go back and put it on the actual railings and stuff instead so um, but in the end yeah it it's I'm very, very proud of everything that I've been able to do so far in this park. Um, I have completely ran out of stuff to talk about, so I think for the next, like, four minutes of this video, well, I don't know. I thought about maybe just doing some music, but I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. Um, what else can we talk about? Hmm, Q&As. All right, um, let's just kind of discuss names and stuff for this coaster. Uh, again, if you have an idea, if you have a thought for the name of this coaster, and, and you know, if you think it's a great idea for a name, let me know. Put it in the comments below. I'm dying to know what you guys think would be a, a perfect name for this. Um, I'm thinking something like, you know, classic coaster names like the Comet, uh, the Flyer, um, Star Flyer, Disney Starliner, I don't know, things like that. Um, that's kind of what I'm looking for, something... Something like it, you know, was on coasters when a, when coasters were first built. We're we're talking like, you know, the Racer and the Big Dipper and you know things like that. Those types of names. I'm looking for something kind of like that, but with a Disney twist. I don't want to theme it to any kind of particular character. It's not gonna be like Goofy's coaster or Donald's coaster. Or, you know, Woody Express. I think somebody mentioned one time. That's you know, although that's a great name. It, it's it's not themed to Toy Story, so we don't want to go with that. Um, so yeah, put your comments below about what kind of video, you know, what kind of name you think this would go for. Um, and you know, if if I like it, I will use it. And that's just kind of what I'm looking for right now. It's just thoughts on that until I can come up with something kind of cool. You know, that's basically what's going to happen. Um, these right here were a pain in the ass to try to figure out how we were going to put the streets and the sidewalks and stuff down through here and uh, these curves and things were just horrible and horrible and horrible I had to do and it's such tedious work uh, anybody who's actually been has ever built a coast you know like a park of this size and has fooled around with actually putting your own pavements and sidewalks and stuff down you know how much tedious work this is and how much of a pain in the ass it is and I just couldn't figure out something that kind of worked either but in the end I, I think it works for now and that's eventually kind of going to turn out well, I think. Uh, I'm sorry about the interruption there. That was my tablet going off. Apparently I have a Xbox message. But yeah. All right. So we are almost kind of coming up on the end of the video. So I'm just actually I'm, at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and say my farewells and let you guys kind of go from there. 
and let the music kind of play out. But uh, if you're not already a subscriber to these videos, make sure that you hit that follow button, like this video. I would definitely do that. Um, if you want to support the series, if you want to support me and working on the park and everything, uh, I have a link to Amazon below. So, you know, lots of people use Amazon. You can go ahead and click that and help support the work that I've been doing so far. I very much appreciate that. And I will see you guys in the next video, which will be episode 17, which you guys will see within a week. I absolutely promise I will have that video up by the end of this coming week. You should see it by the weekend. And that is going to be the end of episode 16, so I will see you guys later. Farewell, all my friends. Until next time, have a great night. Thanks.